Hey guys, I just wanted to put together a little video for you. We've got most of our camera gear here. We're recording this on the new Canon XA20. We've got a good shotgun mic on it. Hopefully good. This is our first time actually playing with that mic, so we will see how it works on this one. And of course, we have our quadcopter here. So I figured we'd do a little uh, experimenting with it, see if we can get some good shots for you, and uh, give you some idea as to just how cool this thing is and what we'll be able to do with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and take off. Let's take a look at a couple of shots we're going to get here. This quadcopter does have a GPS receiver and it will basically hover in place without a hand on the controller. Oh, yeah, I need the scope open there. So you can do some things like have it hover above me, get some shots like this. A lot of safety issues we can take care of here because having the copter in front of the muzzle is not a safety issue the way a person would be. Now, looking at this the same sort of way, we can have a person moving and have the camera kind of follow them. A scene like this, something you'd normally do with like a steady cam and a track and a rail and all that, we can do with the, the quadcopter. And then you just get this cool high altitude view like that. This is the range we've been using. So we'll reset, try it again. So just another view of me following the camera, or rather the camera backing up in front of me. Do a tactical reload there. I should be able to do that while I'm moving, but I need more practice. Oh, pretty cool stuff, I think. The camera on this quadcopter is also gyro stabilized, so it doesn't move nearly as much as the machine does. All right, now this is one of the cooler shots. Coming up the cliff to reveal a person this one we're a little bit too far away. Um, there's a, a very wide fish angle lens on this camera that I just need to get used to. Let's try that again. Moving a little bit closer this time. So this may not give you more technical detail on a particular gun, but it sure does look cool. Makes the videos a lot of fun to watch. Yeah, and this one will come up over and then, or come up above the top of the cliff and then zoom down over the shooter's head. And then this is the closest one. I think I almost took the my buddy's hat off here with the, the quadcopter. Just some really cool footage we can get with this. Uh, you can also point the camera vertically straight down. Give that a try. So these are all things that uh, still experimenting with, getting used to, figure out exactly what the best way to use this, this new equipment is. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed the the early version. So uh, stay tuned. We'll have a whole lot more coming. Thanks for watching.